Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my completed pages video for the month of March. I finished 17 pages and I'm going to show them to you right now. So the first one is in the Tombinoscope by Hachette. And I did the very last image here, which is King Arthur in one of the renditions. And I used colored pencils. I think it was either Prude Funers or Effimeso. It was basically the first image I did that month. So I don't remember, <laughs> but it's obviously colored pencils. And I really like to switch between acrylic paint and colored pencils by now in these books. Sometimes I just don't feel like using paint and a brush because it's a pretty long process. And uh, I think it still looks great with colored pencils, even though you still see the numbers and lines. But yeah, this is the first page for the month of March. Then the second page I did in the Océan by Hachette. And I did this polar bear here, and the glare is really bad. So let me show it like this. Um, I also painted the frame black. I saw a couple of people do that, and I liked it. Um, at first, I was a little concerned because acrylic paint, when not um, separated by a sheet, it tends to stick together, but this paint is actually a very matte, thin paint, so that doesn't happen with this one. So I can color two pages in colored pencil, or this one in colored pencil and that in acrylic paint, and it won't stick together. So that's wonderful. Um, I also used, I think, the Kalur in that one, Kalur colored pencils. And next one is in the Disney Coloriage Magique Mystère. I have done this page here of Lady and Tramp, really liked it. I actually started with acrylic markers like this one, but then I switched to acrylic paint, which I used in this one because I think there, there just is a noticeable difference and I think the image looks a lot better when you don't see the lines and numbers. But sometimes I feel like using the acrylic paint markers and sometimes I feel like using paint and a brush and I really like how this turned out. I like their colors um, against the red background really makes the image pop. So yeah, finished one in that. Then the Disney Zoom Zoom. I really like this book. I will try to work consecutively in it. And this was a rather quick page because there is a lot of white in it and I used I think the Ardex acrylic paint markers. So yeah, that's a really cute Alice in Wonderland themed Zoom Zoom page. Oh, and then I actually worked in this recently acquired Yaoi Wipes. I, I always used to say Yaoi because I never listened to anyone actually pronounce that word. But it's apparently Yaoi and I said it wrong for a lot, many, many years. But that's okay. So I call it these really cute guys. I used... Um, alcohol markers and I also did alcohol marker shading and I used a white paint pen for some accents. Yeah, I think they're really cute. I've always been looking for, you know, coloring some anime guys and there just aren't a lot of coloring books out there who have that. So I'm glad I got the Yaoi Wipes one. The next one, the Neko Girls by Coco Wayo. This is an old one, but I need the next image in line, which is this cute Neko Girl here. And um, I also used alcohol markers and alcohol marker shading and a white acrylic paint pen for some accents. It's cute. The next image is going to be the test color page. No, this one. This is really cute. I might do this one next. Who knows? But yeah, Neko Girls. Glad I got to work some more in my Coco Wayo books. And the next one also by Coco Wayo, the Chibi Girls one. And I just did this heavily grayscale page here so that's why the colors turned out a little dark and almost muddy but i tried to counter that with adding a lot of white accents so i still think it's cute well it is just a title page the actual real images start here so yeah looking forward to these ones but this one is done because you know i try to do all images in a book because I would really love to have one day all completed coloring books. So next one, The Wanderlust by George Tufexis. And I did this very first one here. Very vibrant and colorful. Love George Tufexis's artwork. 
yeah, what can I say? Oh, yeah. And I really started to like adding the black frame. So I did it for those books as well. So first one done in Wanderlust. And again by George Tufex's The Endless Summer, I did the second one, which is the ice cream truck here. Really love, again, the vibrant colors and several colors for the clouds. Really like this one. So one more done in this one. And then I have the stained glass Tiffany windows by Sachin Sachdeva. And I finished my first page here, which is this field of puppies. Very nice, very simple coloring, really fun to do. Oh, my books are starting to fall. And Color by Number Quest Pokemon. I also work in this one consecutively. I hope to finish it soon. That will be one more book picked, uh, ticked off the list. And I think the color choice here is a little weird because they made a blue background and a green relaxo. And I think relaxo is actually blue. So, oh well, but it is what it is. It's one page done. It's a cute pixelated Pokemon. So that's all right. The next image in the Zen Doodle color by number stained glass by Deborah Mueller. And I did the second one, which are these goldfish here. And as you can see, I really started to run out of blues and it looks a little streaky and meh, but you know, I have, I think four alcohol marker sets now that I started and they're all starting to miss the blues and green tones because those colors are the ones that I use the most because I color a lot of animal and nature images. So yeah, circular smart books, sea life. I did. I have a couple of images in here and I finished this one of this pudgy little seal. Very colorful background. Really like the vibrancy and really love AJ Quinnell's work. I'm getting all their books. And then in the Birds of the World one, finished the second one. Also very very colorful and i really like that they it's the painted bun thing i really like that they added the names of these birds because i hardly know what they're called in uh, my language german so i'm glad i get to know them also in their english names and another circulars one the forest and i did the next one in line which is the gazelle which is actually the title image and as you can see this is why i always run out of greens and blues lots of green ones here but love the result love the vibrancy those are really easy and fun to color you know if you're into some mindless coloring while watching a show or tv i really recommend these books then one again by aj quinnell <clears throat> the pets in color which is a uh, the not the circulism style and again, it's the title page. I just did the next one in line. And yeah, I think I like how it turned out. Really cute. I think the correct term in English is cockatiel for that bird. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Then Lines, Dots, Quest, Animals. One of my favorite books. I'm going to be sad when this one is finished. But I'm also going to feel accomplished. Because this is a beautiful book. And again, it's a bird. Yeah, what can I say? I keep praising this book because I really like the style of it. I'm going to shut up about it today. And then I did finally in the Stone Mosaic Black Edition another book I would love to finish. I did too. I did this Picnic. And the Cactus. So yeah, those were my... 17 pages for the month of March, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and maybe see you in the next one. Bye!